Scribbles drawings from the Scribbles drawings contest, guys, which is still underway. And here's a few drawings, guys, from the contest, which I'll show you guys later on. And the best part is, I'll give you guys another quick chance to draw Scribbles and win big, big, big prizes. And we do have another prize, a surprise, guys, for you. A surprise performance by a rockin' and rollin', strummin' and drummin' whiz kid drummer. His name is Brad Bonner. Here, check this out. See that, guys? He's awesome. Now, last week, we had a whiz kid. He played African drums. This week's whiz kids, modern drums, are all the buzz, guys. And, and speaking of buzzing, look up here. Our Yearn to Learn segment, guys, deals with buzzing bees and the making of honey. Make sure you sticky around, guys, for that one. Mm, anyway, next. Right up there, guys, is our mailbag segment where today we'll have a cranimal request called a laughing hycranosaur. Wow, guys, that's a mouthful. And then after that, we'll be followed quickly, guys, by some of your drawings. And then, last but not least, right down there, guys, our Cran Kid co-host, which, remember, could be you. And speaking of you, guys, you could also be part of our live studio audience. Check this out, guys. Look over there. Hey, guys, big wave to me over there, Cran Man. You guys having some fun? Yeah. Well, now, guys, it's time for our Cran Kid co-host to have some fun. His name is, what is it? Sam Blackstone. That's right. Where is Sam Blackstone? Sam, come on out here, Sam. Here he comes. Hey, Sam, nice to meet you. Now, Sam Blackstone, right? And what's your age, big guy? Seven. Seven years old. And what town do you live in? Brantford. And what school do you go to? Tisco. And what do you have on your head? Hair. Hair. But you're going to have the Cran Kid co-host hat in just a moment. Where is that Cran Kid co-host hat? Oh, here it comes, Sam. Let's try this on. Hey, pretty neat, pretty neat. Hey, give a big smile to everybody at home. Perfect. Now, Sam Blackstone here and I are going to be co-hosting this great show with the live studio audience and everything like that. Now, please tell us a little bit about yourself, Sam what kind of a stone is it? Blackstone, right? Not a redstone, blackstone. Now, like, do you have any hobbies, things you like to do? Rollerblading and basketball and soccer. Basketball and soccer? Are you playing any sports right now? Uh, soccer. Soccer? Hey, is there anybody out there that you'd like to say, like, hello to? Who? My aunt and my uncle. You'd like to say hello to your aunt and your uncle, right? Well, hello, aunt and uncle. Well, guys, I have someone else that I'd like him to say hello to, and that's our whiz kid. His name is Brad Bronner. He's a strumming and drumming, rocking and rolling, guys. Jet set with a drum set, and he's coming up next. Are you looking forward to that? Okay, let's see. Here we go to the next segment. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, guys, over to the studio audience. Let's hear a big, here we go. Here we go. Yes, indeed. Guys, here we go. If you'd like to be a Crayon Kid co-host, write to Crayon Man, AT&T Broadband, PO Box 4222, Kensington, Connecticut, 06037, or send email to crayon.man at broadband.att.com. Da, 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 da. Hmm, guys, I'm practicing being a conductor, and I'm very impressed, guys, by the way this week's whiz kid conducts his name. His name is Brad Bonner. He's an awesome young man. Hey, Brad, how you doing? Good. Now, I want you to meet Sam Blackstone, our Cran Kid co-host for today. Hello. Hey, way to go, guys, way to go. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself, Brad Bonner. Well, um, I'm nine, I play the drums, um, I'm in a core called the Deep River Junior Ancients. I started when I was five or four. Um, I have a set at home, and um, I go to Deep River Elementary. What's the name of it? Deep River Elementary. Deep River. That's very deep, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, keep going. And um, my teacher's name is Mrs. Mazaki, oh, Mrs. Levator. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah. That was last year, Mazaki, right? Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I have a sister. I have lots of cousins. Well, hey, you, you know what? You are, too. You are well rehearsed here, and I bet you're well rehearsed in playing drums. But I want to ask you again. What's the name of the place that you belong to? Like a club or something? The Deep River Junior Ancients. Well, hey, what do you think, Sam, of this outfit here? Now, why are you dressed like that? Are, are you going to be going out like uh, Paul Revere and saying, the British are coming, the British are coming? No, this is the uniform that we wear. I see. Are you like a minute man? Um, no. How about a Patriot? A New England Patriot? Mm, football? No? No. I see. But I know one thing you are, and that's an awesome drummer, isn't it? Well, how about... Wouldn't you like to hear Brad Bonner play the drums? Here we go. First of all, let's come to the side here and let Brad Bonner take center stage with it. What kind of a drum is that? A fife drum? A fife and drum drum. Fife and drum drum. Go for it, big guy. something extra cool for us, perhaps show us how you play that, almost like rock and roll. Okay, you know what we got to do, though, is we're going to get you the Whiz Kid hat. I didn't want to give it to you before, because I love that awesome hat you have on right now, but do you think when you go to do your modern drums with all the lights and everything, you could use the Whiz Kid hat? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Hey, why don't you say, here we go with Brad Bonner. Say, Brad Bonner, take it away. Brad Bonner, take it away. Take it away. Berkeley School of Music and be a famous drummer. The Berkeley School of Music, where is that? Boston. Boston, Massachusetts, right? Hey, now, Sam, do you have, oh, I didn't hurt you there, did I, Sam? <laughs> hey, pretty good. Anyway, do you have any questions, like, perhaps for our whiz kid today? Yes. Oh, what would it be? Who is your favorite drummer? Neil Peart. What's his name? Neil Peart. Neil Peart? Oh, okay, now what kind of a drum does he play? Like one of these fife drums? No, he plays a drum set. He does. Does he like play in a symphony or in a band or something? Uh, like a big rock band. Wow, what's the name of the rock band? Um, Rush. What is it, Rush? Yep. Oh, I see. And it's not a pebble band, it's a rock band, right? Yep. <laughs> you like this, don't ask him. <laughs> anyway, all right, well, we have something very special here, guys, for our Wiz Kid. And it's a special medal that you can wear around and tell everybody, I was a Wiz Kid on the Cram Man Show. It's number one medal because you're number one in our book. And what does it say in the back? Whoa, it came apart here. What does it say in the back? Um, Wiz Kid, Yes I Can with Cran Show. With Cran Man Show, that's me. We're going to put this right here 
And you can win it all around town and, of course, our Cran Man Fan Club membership card here for Brad Bonner. Pretty cool, huh, Sam? You did awesome with both those drumming routines, the Fife and Drum and those psychedelic modern drums. You're awesome, and of course we have the Whisk Kid hat here, which you were wearing when you were doing your modern drums. Anyway, guys, we have something extra special, something real sticky, coming up next, guys, in our Yearn to Learn segment, and it's the making of honey, as mentioned earlier, so sticky around for that one. And let's have a little tune on our way out. What do you say? Okay. Hey, guys. What do you think of the way you play? Awesome? Let's hear a big round of applause over there, right? Okay, go ahead, play. Play now, let's hear you play. You can be a Crayon Man whiz kid. Write to Crayon Man, AT&T Broadband, PO Box 4222, Kensington, Connecticut, 06037. Or send email to crayon.man at broadband.att.com. Son, tag team beekeeper, honey makers, guys from the Peanut Pond Honey Farm over in Cain, Connecticut. Hi, Tim. Hi, Timmy. How you Hi. doing? Good. How are you? You're Tim, and you're Timmy. Nice to meet you, and I'd like you to meet our Cran Kid co-host for today. His name is Sam Blackstone. Sam? Hi, Sam. Big Tim, little Tim. All right, guys, we're going to be doing some beekeeping today, and those are some really cool outfits you guys have on there. Now, what's all the buzz, guys, about this beekeeping? Now, Big Daddy Tim, let's... Um, Let's ask you some questions like, how long have you been beekeeping? Well, Cram Man, I've been keeping key bees for about 20 years. 20 years? That's a long time. Wow, now, do you help out your dad, Timmy, at all? Like, what are some of the things that you do? I help him um, feed the bees. You feed the bees? Like, what do you feed them? Um, sugar water. Sugar water? Like, each individual bee? What do you have, like a little dropper? Do you have, come here, little bee. Give him a little drink. Is that how it goes? No, not like that. Just give him like a whole big like, bowl on it, right? And they come down and they drink it. Hey, that's pretty cool. And, and speaking of cool, what's this thing you've got on your head? What's that all about? Big Daddy Tim Lord of the, what is it, Peanut Pond Honey Farm? Yes, it is. Tell us about this thing. Well, this is my hat and my bee veil, and I wear this so uh, the bees don't come inside and sting my nose. Your nose? Well, I can see why. It's a predominant thing, isn't it? No, it's just like a little joke. To be or not to be. Anyway, now, Timmy, what's this thing that you got there? Isn't that the bees stir the honey? Timmy, what do you, I mean, Sam, what do you think of this thing? Look at it. Isn't that neat? Now, are there some bees inside there? Look at that. Are th those are old bees, right? They're sleeping now. What do you have to say about this thing, Big Tim? What is that thing right there? Well, this is my toolkit that I take with me out to the bee yard. This is a smoker that I use to smoke the bees, to quiet them. And I have some other tools that help me to take the honey out of the hives. Well, I think we're going to get a little sneak peek at you using some of those elements. But I've got a little bit of a question here. Um, hey, Sam, what do you think Mr. Lord, Tim Lord, says? When the bees are buzzing around them, what do you think he says when they're bothering him, those bees? Buzz off. Buzz off! Hey, way to go, big guy! That was excellent! Hey, what do you think over in the studio audience? Let's see a big round of applause. Way to go! Sam Blackstone was an excellent joke. Anyway, guys, we have a surprise, guys. And as I said, it's going to be Tim and Timmy going off to their peanut pot farm where they're going to show us, guys, the steps in making honey. So, without further ado, let's buzz off to the peanut pot farm where Tim and Timmy Lord are going to show us the steps, guys, in making honey. So, let's go to the videotape. Bzzz. Now. <laughs> Step number one, my dad's taking the honey out of the beehive. Now my dad's going to cut the wax capping off the honeycomb. Put the honeycomb into the extract. Collect the raw honey into a bucket. Wax. 
number six, Battle of Honey. Last step, tasting the honey. Wow, guys, that was excellent, that video there. And I bet this honey here is excellent. This is the actual honey that was used in that video. Let's all take a taste, starting with you, Mr. Lord. Let's go. Mmm. Good? That's good. What do you think, Timmy? Good. Here you go, Sam. How is it? Pretty good. So good you can't even speak, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna try it too, guys. Mmm. Scrub delicious, guys. Uh, this is great. And guys, you were great here on our You're Gonna Learn section, and we appreciate you guys coming onto the show and teaching us about how to make honey. And guys, we have something else for you, and that is our membership card. Right here to the Crandan Fan Club, we have one for Daddy Tim Lord, you're an official member of the Crane Man Fan Club. And of Thank course, you. one here for little Timmy Lord. Hey guys, anybody out there like you'd like to say hello to? Brothers, sisters, friends, something like that? Avery and Katie. Hi, Avery and Katie. Great, and hi some bees, right? Hey, buzz it off, will ya? Anyway, guys, I just love this family thing here, this family togetherness. You know, last week, we had a musical mom and son, and now we have a tag team father and son, guys. And families, come on, we want you on the show. Come on down to the Cray Man Show and be a part of the action. And guys, now let's see some drawing action over in the mailbag cranimal segment, where I'm gonna be drawing some cranimals. Mm, let's have some more of these things, guys. What do you say? <laughs> we'll see you soon in the cranimal drawing segment, coming up next in the mailbag. <laughs> Very tasty. Send your letters, drawings, or cray animal requests to Crayon Man, AT&T Broadband, PO Box 4222, Kensington, Connecticut, 06037. Or send email to crayon.man at broadband.att.com. <laughs> Oh, okay, everybody, it's time to draw. Draw a cranimal and draw your attention to the mailbag where we get tons, guys, of letters, but we still want more, so keep those letters coming. Anyway, today's letter, Sam, if you could do the honors and dip into the cram and mailbag and... Is there a letter in there? Yes, indeed. Okay, you can put that bag down. Hold on to my trusty drawing utensil. Hopefully you guys are getting your drawing utensils, too, and here we go. And it says this. Come on over, Sam, check it out. It says... Oh, it's from a young man. His name is Darian Williams from Hartford, Connecticut. And Darian says, Dear Cran Man, I think you're the sharpest crayon in the box. Hmm. Hey, what do you guys think over in the audience? Am I the sharpest crayon in the box? Let me see a more enthusiastic. Yeah, Cran Man! Yeah, Cran Okay, right. Okay, we get back to the letter here. And Darian says, I think you're the sharpest crayon in the box. And I think your commercials are Pahat. Pahat? Oh, 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 fat, he says, fat, with a P-H, I, I guess that means cool, not F-A-T, if you know what I mean. That was fat, hey, that's lingo, I guess. Please draw me a cranimal of a swordfish, a crane, and a laughing hyena. Thanks and good luck, your pal Darian Williams. Well, I am gonna need some good luck. It has a swordfish, a crane, and a laughing hyena. What should we call this thing? How about a laughing hycranosword? What do you say for Darian Williams? Here, you hold on to this, and now I'll start to draw this laughing hycranosaur with, how about the head of a swordfish? Here we go, guys. I always start with the eyes. Here's one eye. Sam, you can watch me. Two circles next to each other. We'll put a little pupil in the middle there, and now let's do a funny swordfish head. And here's the sword. Have you ever seen a swordfish, Sam? Um, not really. I see. Hey, how does that look? Pretty good? Let's put some eyebrows on them, and see that? And of course, we'll have to put a little tongue on them. You guys following along at home, try to do your best. Yeah. Hey guys, what do you think over there in the crayon audience? Pretty cool, huh? Let me see a high five. Go crayon man. Pretty cool, all right, here we go. Now that's the head of a swordfish, and we'll put some gills on him, because he's like a swordfish. And what are we gonna do? How about a laughing hyena? Why don't we do the body of a laughing hyena? Here we go. Of course, we can't make him laughing, but I've seen a laughing hyenas before. 
They're like in the jungle or in Africa, right? Have you ever seen them on TV or anything like that or in the zoo? Laughing hyenas. Okay, here, you stand back there so you can get a good bird's eye of this. There we go. Hey, let's draw a couple hairs coming out too on this laughing hycranosaur. And let's do the bottom part now. And of course, let's put some of his hands in here. These are the hands of a hyena, a laughing hyena. If it's laughing, we have to put in he, he. What do you say, Sam? Pretty neat. And of course, we have to do a crane. So let's do some crane feet and finish off the back of this hyena. Now, hyenas have like spots on them. And now, if you guys are following along at home, I want you to color this for me and send it in. And speaking of coloring, guys, at the end of this segment, we're going to show a finished colored cranimal here of this laughing high cranosaur. Now, let's do the feet. The feet of a crane. They're long. Have you ever seen a crane, Sam? Yes. They have long feet, because a crane is what kind of an animal? A bird. A bird is right. And let's do the other leg in the back there, and let's fold this one over, almost like what kind of an animal that are pink? A uh, flamingo. Flamingo is exactly right. And let's do the back foot right there. And let's just put a little ground plane on it. Maybe he could be even in the water. What do you say? And there you have it for Darian Williams, guys. The head of a swordfish, the body of a hyena, and the feet of a crane. It's called a laughing hycrana sword. Guys, you keep those letters coming, all right, guys? Keep those letters coming. Those classroom animals, guys, teachers, we want those too. That means you, teachers. Now, before we go to the crane gallery, which is coming up next, we're going to give you guys a last chance to win some prizes in that Scribbles drawing contest. Let's take a quick break, and we'll show that colored cranimal here of the laughing hycrana sword. What do you say as it flies across the screen? Sam, you and I look out to everybody and laugh like a laughing hycranosaur. Ready? Here we go. Here goes the hycranosaur. There he is. <laughs> look at him go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's hear a laugh. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's hear a laugh from the audience, guys. All right, guys, coming up next, our Cran Gallery. See you soon. To see your drawing in the Crayon Man Gallery, send it to Crayon Man, AT&T Broadband, P.O. Box 4222, Kensington, Connecticut, 06037. Or send email to crayon.man at broadband.att.com. Oh, oh, hey guys, hey, 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 here's those scribbles drawings I was showing you guys earlier. These are only two guys of the many entries that are flying in, hmm, flying in, guys. Now keep those submissions coming and win tons of cool prizes. Here's a close-up, guys, of a couple submissions. Let me take this one right here. This one right here, guys, it's by Jason Solick of Guilford, Connecticut. Now Jason is four years old. Pretty good job, Jason. All right, let's see what we have next. Here's the next one. This one here is by a young lady. Her name is Janet Calwatt of Avon, Connecticut. Now, Janet, she's only eight years old, but she did a pretty good job. Another awesome drawing. Now, guys, here's your chance. See, guys? See there on the screen? Here's another chance for you to get a little sneak peek of scribbles. Now, you could draw them right here, guys, and remember, you can remember what he looks like, or just keep watching the show every day, and then when you finish, guys, remember the most important thing. Send in your address and name, along with your entry, to be awarded those great prizes. And guys, speaking of great prizes, that's what we have in store now for our Cran Kid co-host with the most, Sam Blackstone, coming up in our Farewell to Sam, some awesome prizes. Coming up next, let me hear you say, here we go. Here we go. Guys in the audience, let's say, here we go. Here we go. To some prizes for Sam, and a big thank you in his farewell. Coming up next. <laughs> Here we are, guys, with the best part of the show, where we're going to say farewell to you. Although, that's not the best part that we have to say goodbye. The best part is the gifts, right, big guy? I thought so. Now, tell us a little bit about the show. What part did you like the best, Sam? Redstone. Yellowstone. Greenstone. What was it? Blackstone. Blackstone. What was your favorite part of the show? When you drew the picture of that thing. Oh, the cranimal? It was called a laughing hycranosaur for Darian Williams. Now, is there anybody out there, perhaps a special friend that you'd like to say hello to? Yes. Who would that be? Mike Morrison. Mike Morrison. Well, we're going to get a prize in here for Mike Morrison, but we're going to get tons of prizes for you, Sam. So let's dip in to the Cran Man gift bag. Here we go. Check this out. It's a little mug. You can put a straw on the top. That's all yours, big guy. 
All right, and we have this, which is a Crane Coleman mirror set. You could take these apart, watch this. See, here's the little sleeve, and on the inside is a comb and a mirror. What do you say? Hey, that's pretty cool, right? And what was your friend's name? Mike Morrison. Well, you give this to him, okay? Special gift from me, Mike Morrison. He's in what town, Brantford? Yeah. Okay, hey, we've got more here for you. Let me see you smile. Let me see the teeth. <laughs> Look what I got for you. Sure, everybody at home. Whistle while I get work. This is for you, big boy. What else do we have in here? Oh, how about these glasses? You like these? Want to try them on? Well, if you don't like those, how about these huge glasses? What do you say? You want them both? They're yours. You earned it today, big guy. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, of course, we have a crayon eraser right here. But you don't make too many mistakes. You made none today, big guy. And of course, we have in here a crayon man keychain. Very coveted item. Crayon man necklace. Let me see if I can find one in here. I'm sure we have some. If I dig down deep, oh, here's one right here for you. And of course, the last item, which, oh, how about this? Mine, mine, mine. All right, that's yours. And here it is, guys. What is this, Brad? Brad was our whiz kid, right? Tried to stop you there. This is Sam, Sam Blackstone and his Cran Man Fan membership card. What do you say, huh? You like that? Yeah. All right, well now we're gonna go on to the recap part of the show. Where is he? There he is, where is he? There he is. We're gonna go on to the recap part of the show where we're gonna bring everything together. Guys in the audience, did you have a good time?